Hello, everybody. Um, everybody, everybody, thank you for being here. Welcome to the Go Jimmy Health Show. If you just join, uh, we encourage that you follow us just like our dear friend Gene Beats uh, just followed us. Those who have already tapping, who has already been tapping on our screen, I'm very grateful for you. Very thankful for you. Everybody who are newly following this platform, I appreciate y'all. <laughs> Thank you, the people who just joined. Uh, my name is uh, JB. I'm a family practitioner, uh, and I'm here to share some great, great information with you. So if you just join, or if you're sitting here, and uh, I'm asking you, <laughs> get some popcorn, sit back, and relax for a great ride with your brother, your brother JB. Okay, uh, let's go with the first question. Somebody say they are feeling, uh, it looks like they feel lightheaded during that period. What would be the reason, what would cause you to feel uh, lightheaded uh, during your period, especially? My dear friend Muriel, how you doing, my dear? So, the thing is, if you are having this uh, problem of being lightheaded during your period, uh, my next question for you will be, how much do you bleed? How many days does your periods uh, last? So, because what may happen, you may be anemic from maybe losing too much blood from your period. Uh, my friend, I'm doing great. Uh, thank you. My friend, uh, Munchie, thank you for uh, being a new follower. Uh, we have a lot of new people following here. We got to acknowledge uh, uh, some of them. So um, all the new people in general who followed us, uh, who recently followed us, uh, we appreciate you. If you don't know about this platform, this is a platform where we come here. My name is JB and we have the show where we talk. The same thing that I do with my patient in this office here. I do the same thing. I come here and I share a lot of life-saving informations with my brothers and sisters, with a lot of people who loves me, uh, with a lot of people that I love as well. A lot of people, as you could tell, who are tapping on that screen, who are giving me love, who are showing me appreciation for what I'm doing. That's what we do here. Now, this show, if you miss anything, it's usually be loaded on YouTube. So if you have not followed me on YouTube, I encourage that you do that. My friend Modu in the house, tapping on that screen. My friend Modu, how you doing? My dear Queen Modu, uh, I'm very happy to see you. Uh, my friend um, Munchi, uh, thank you for liking the like the live. I have a lot of people liking. So guys, go JV in the house.
okay guys uh, guys you know i'm at work while i'm doing this uh uh my dear friend uh nicole i see you in the house thank you for being here and my friend muriel is uh, for me on the floor I was, uh, I was talking about her watching Usually I have a, pe a lot of people from different places. I'm sorry for the for the noise. I, I didn't uh, lower the music. Uh, hello, my friend Treaty. My friend Treaty, how you doing? Uh, so my dear friend, um, my dear friend here, uh, my dear friend Benjam Benjamin, Benjamin, who says, uh, well, you're doing a good job, my dear friend. Uh, from you, I, I accept it, and uh, thank you very much. All I could say is thank you for your support, because I could only do this. I could only get where I'm getting because of you guys, because of every single one. Every, every one of you. My friend Shirley, how you doing? Uh, thank you for being here in the house. So, what happened uh, with uh, people with the uh, female uh, who are having heavy menstruation? Uh, like my friend was saying, they feel lightheaded. Sometimes they may. I have another people, another Floridian in the house. My friend Juana, how you doing, my dear friend Juana Latte? Uh, number two, uh, how you doing? I'm happy to see you there. Uh, so yeah, so. We are we are having a uh, Bahamas in the house. Stacy, how you doing, my my friend Stacy? Uh, my friend, uh, all my friends who are tapping on the screen, uh, we're making it red. So appreciate y'all. So, what women sometimes, uh, and I know I have a lot of uh, different videos on there on my page that talks about menstruations. But when you have heavy menstruations, it could lead to to uh, symptoms like my friend was saying, being high lightheaded. So if you come and you telling me that you feel lightheaded. And you said usually happens around the time of your period. Now I'm gonna definitely uh, uh, the first thing I'm gonna uh, think about, my friend uh, L J Shiro. How you doing, my dear, my dear friend? So first thing that I'm gonna say is like, okay, how m how many days does your period last? When you when you have your period, how many pads in a day? So uh, how you know how much do you bleed? Now if you tell me I bleed a lot, the first um, suspicion that i'm going to have is possibly you are losing so much blood and you becoming anemic you becoming anemic now i'm gonna tell you how you check that right here my dear friend here says uh the top of my foot hurt uh okay did you injure yourself my friend is it what type of hurt is it is it burning or tingling feeling are you diabetic so um now let's go back to the person that would was possibly having uh being anemic from from losing too much blood from their period so the best way to check that i have somebody who gives me some very great march uh, <laughs> march uh, uh it's my friend heavens heavens beats i've not seen you my friend it's been a while but thank you what a great way to show up thank you i appreciate you thank you so um but yeah so the best way to do is if you feel tired and somebody else my same friend heaven beats is giving me more love this one is match uh wand i guess so y'all know that English is not my first language, just so you know, if you couldn't tell. Age 46, period has stopped. Well, so again, uh, just before we get to you, my friend, so uh, the best way to check that you go into your doctor and we're going to check your hemoglobin so we're going to check your hemoglobin to see if you have a low hemoglobin to determine that's the first process or the first step of checking to see if you are anemic so that's what you will do is go to your doctor so they can check that uh the back of your foot hurt uh that, let's go back to this question here uh we need to figure out why uh the back of your foot hurt first of all as i ask you do you have did you injure yourself or anything so usually now we have to look at what type of pain do you have uh swelling on there and all that the thing is if you have pain in your leg uh did you have a long travel because again um you may have referred pain i don't want you to if you have a long travel people could have a blood clot and got caused them to uh 
you know, to, uh, to hurt. But again, we want to make sure that uh, we, we don't just uh, decide on that. So if it's hurting, we may need to get a doctor to take a look at it. Go in person to your primary care, you know, so to see if they could look at it. Okay, okay. So for for the friend who said uh, they are 40, well, 46 and they that period stop. It really depends. Uh, menopause sometimes comes in early. We are anticipating in the fifties, but sometimes it depends. Now my question for you is: How old were your parents? Uh, were your mom when she went into menopause? So different people, sometimes uh, different people, it could be genetically, some people went into menopause a little bit earlier than other people. So it could be what it is. Um, but what I would do is to go ahead, go get some hormonal uh, studies, like go to your primary care provider or go to your uh, GYN if you have an o uh, a GYN, have them check some hormones to see and they will be able to tell you are you going menopausal or is it something that is going on remember in all my videos there's a lot of videos that i have there where i say whenever you miss your period whenever something is going on with your period that you're not seeing it then you need to be an alert you need to try to find out what's going on because your body is trying to send you a message so this is why i think you shouldn't just sit there and say it's menopause First thing, I would go to my primary care or to the specialist, to the GYN, and get them to do an actual uh, check of your hormones to see how things going, to see if it's from menopause or if it's from anything else. My dear friend who is uh, saying that they have burning, um, their back hurts whenever they have period. Now, if you go on my page, you'll see some uh, a video that I post on there that tells you exactly why. And we're talking about postaglandin because um, when you have your period, what happens is the same thing that happens when somebody's having a baby. So it's really the same thing that is happening to you. So when you have your period, you have a set of contractions that are happening inside of your uterus. Because again, when you are having a baby, when it's time to have this baby, you have contract contractions that would push this baby out of the uterus. The same thing. Remember, when you are having a period, it's because all that elements or if you want to call it all that blood that was waiting to fertilize a baby, this is what's coming out. So what happens is it's for it to come out, your uterus has to contract. This is how it happens that, again, for some people it's worse, but it happens for you to have all this pain. So you're hurting because you are contracting. Just keep that in mind. Every time you are having your period, it's a time of contraction. It may not be as bad. It may be worse on certain people. But whenever you are having a period, you are contracting. So if you are if you are somebody who had a baby before, yes, it's not going to be the same pain, but it is contraction. So this is why you are going to have that discomfort. Uh, this is why you're going to have that pain. Maybe it may be a back pain. Some people have uh, lower abdominal pain, groin pain. You're going to have some pain. You're going to be sick. And I'm sorry, you know, but it's what it is. Because that contraction has to happen so that this blood could be expelled to the outside from the uterus. What kind of over-the-counter medications should I take for acid reflux? Just omeprazole. 
Omeprazole is over the counter. You could go and get some Omeprazole. You could start with the 20 milligram. And sometimes we will take two pills, but the 20 milligrams is what is available over the counter. So the thing is, uh, if you have acid reflux, I want you to try those natural things that could help you. The number one thing, and I don't know uh, my friend who asked the question, I have seen you here before. I don't know if you were here when we talk about acid reflux, um, but the thing is, you want to do the natural things first, the things that you could do that the easier thing. That's what you want to do first. You want to take those measures that are not as invasive before you even think about taking medications. What you should be doing is doing those things naturally. The number one thing that you should be doing actually is to make sure you determine why what type of food is causing you to have or is causing your acid reflux to be worse. You know, so I understand if I know what it is, I could just decide and say, you know what, this I have to eat it now. I'm going to have to deal with it. But if I know what it is, I could decide that I'm not going to eat this type of food because a lot of the time our acid reflux, uh, there is a connection with the acid reflux and certain food that we consume. So you should learn your body. That's very, very important for you to learn your body so you know exactly what hurts you. So if you know what hurts you, then um, obviously it's going to help you because you will be able to, um, somebody say baking soda. So if you know what hurts you, then you'll be able to prevent it from hurting you. But if you don't know, then it's uh, unfortunately you won't be able to help yourself. So this is why I think the first thing you should do, if you have acid reflux, the first thing that you should be doing is make sure that you know what is hurting you the most. The number one thing. The number two thing, please don't eat and lay down. Because remember, we talk about the pathophysiology of acid reflux. What causes acid reflux? What's the thing in our body? You know, we talk about the connection with the stomach, with the esophagus and all that stuff. But just keep in mind with acid reflux, when you lay down, there is uh, more uh, gravity, uh, pressure, then uh, that acid in your stomach is easier for it to go up there. So for that reason, you should be waiting a couple of hours after you eat, uh, I, I mean, after you eat before you go lay down. But if you just ate and just go lay down, I'm telling you, it's gonna be, uh, it's not gonna be the very best because again, you could be taking all these medications, but there's always something that you can do to maybe minimize the amount of medications that you're taking. Maybe you were taking that omeprazole twice a day, but maybe you're able to decrease it once a day. That's something, right? Because again, there's a lot of things that are hurting us. If we just know the best way to manage, we could help ourselves. I'm telling you, we could help ourselves. But omeprazole is pretty good medication. However, if you feel like you're taking medications, nothing helps. You may want to go to your doctor because untreated acid reflux can cause complications. So we don't want you to get there either. We want it to be treated. My friend here asks if your tube can be untied. From what I heard, it is possible. Again, I'm not GYN. I'm not a specialist in uh, this area. But I do. I heard from certain people that it happened. That uh, you know they thought they couldn't get pregnant. But then that tube got untied. And before you know it, they end up with a baby. Yeah, pain. If you have pain with your period, a lot of the time you could just do over-the-counter medications uh, as long as you are not allergic to them. Again, it's always important because everything we said here, if you really worried about anything, you should be going to this doctor that is seeing you. Because my patients here, I see them, I know them, I know everything about their birthday, I know everything about their medical history. So there's a lot of things that I know about them that I can't know about <laughs> about you guys right my friend d queen lady in the house my dear queen how you doing i'm very happy to see you you know i'm always always happy to see you i am uh in uh georgia more specifically if you are in georgia area i am in smyrna georgia i am actually right 
across from the train track on Atlanta Road, if you're familiar with the area. And I'm inside All Care Health Clinic. I'm glad my dear queen is good. My dear queen lady. Let me take a little moment to say thank you to every single queen that is tapping on the screen right now. Uh, the queen are tapping on the screen. I really want to say thank you to every one of those people who have been so supportive of this uh, show. <laughs> yeah, my friend, he said, wish you were in Florida. Yes, me too. Yesterday, somebody called me. They made me a proposition to go and expand um, a primary care in Florida. My friend Queen Lady, thank you for tapping. My friend Wana, thank you for tapping. My friend is in California. Yes, I have people everywhere. T Lady underscore 76. New follower. Terry Davis. New followers. A lot of people are following the GoJB Health. Because uh, they know when they follow, they help us. And spreading the news. All the people who are sharing. My friend Shanti. So it's a lot of people who are supporting us. We have to say thank you to Nicole. For being a subscriber to this platform. So again, you guys know you could always subscribe by clicking on the subscribing button on top to become a subscriber. And again, if you have not followed me on YouTube, please go to my YouTube channel and become a subscriber sometimes we do telemedicine sometimes but we're not too big at telemedicine we do mainly and patient yeah somebody has diabetic type 2 what questions do you have about diabetic type 2 well today we've been talking for the people who are new this program usually uh, I would uh, come in and we start talking about something and it could be it could go any direction pretty much we're ready to go any direction that you guys want to go so it it is based on the need of the people again this show is for the people It's for so many people so many queens so many prince so many kings so many princesses who've been supporting me uh, and really they guide where we go really people like you who just ask me so really pretty much we are here and we answer questions as they come based on the question that i answered most of the days we have a topic that we talk about um but for the most part basically like today we talk about heavy bleeding heavy bleeding how it could cause anemia what you should be looking for and things like that and we also talk about like uh, somebody having tangling in their feet and things so the thing is based on the questions even though we have a topic but we try to focus on trying my friend jen wright thank you for sharing the live appreciate you so we try to focus on the things that the people need i think that's the best way to go because i'm here i'm not here for myself i'm here for you guys so what i do is what i share with patients here like the questions that the patient asked me the most here my dear friend cotton <laughs> underscore candy thank you for all this love all this beautiful musical note is that what it is well it's tiktok <laughs> okay uh, my queen my very very queen lady thank you for sharing your life Cotton underscore candy. Thank you. I see that you're tapping. You think I did? I wouldn't see you. Of course I did. My friend Yvette Davis. Uh, thank you for sharing the live. Appreciate you, my dear queen, my dear friend. <laughs> if your sugar levels go up, what is the best thing to do? Other than taking the medications, I cut for it to come down. Well, I'm saying uh, good afternoon, my friend Elima. Elima, good afternoon. How you doing? Thank you for being here. And 
I got my dear, my dear queen, Cotton, under, cotton underscore Candy, who shared this live with more than five people. Appreciate you, my dear queen. Yeah, if your blood sugar goes high, what do you do? Well, pretty much taking the medication is the best thing hopefully if you are on insulin then with insulin you could bring it down pretty quickly especially if you are on a short acting insulin so you'll be able to take it down uh, pretty pretty quickly you could take it down so i think that would be one thing that you should you could do mm -hmm. we are here for you jb because you are here for us what an amazing statement from my dear friend renee clark we are here for you, JB, because you are here for us. Thank you, my friend. This means a lot. Again, those are the things that keeps me going, right? So, as I was saying, so the best way to take that blood glucose down, unfortunately, uh, so um, the first, the best thing to do is to take your blood sugar medications, like you were asking. Uh, hopefully you take an insulin insulin can bring it down pretty quickly now if your blood sugar is so high and you cannot bring it down uh, i want you to consider going to the emergency room because what happens when your blood sugar is very elevated what's happening is you're gonna be peeing a lot uh, i love the african necklace thank you my friend <laughs> it was a gift So, uh, yeah, so what happens is, uh, hold on, somebody say something else. Blood pressure goes up. What is the best without taking medication? But if your blood pressure goes up, okay, so now we have blood sugar goes up. But okay, let's address the blood sugar first. So the thing is, if you if you keep your blood, if your blood sugar is staying up there, what's going to happen is your body will try to remove that sugar out of your body, right? Because your body has to try to do something. Uh, so, because remember, usually sugar is removed out of our blood uh, with insulin produced from the pancreas. That's usually what happens. That's the right way. So then what happens as a return, this glucose is taken from the blood and getting into the cell, which gives us energy, which makes me strong, which makes me gain weight and all that. Okay. So now what happens is when your pancreas is either not able to produce that insulin or maybe that insulin is produced but those cells are resisting to the insulin which we call re insulin resistant so when you have that issue then now your kidney is saying hey you know what i gotta do something i, I gotta try to save you because uh, if you have all this sugar in your body you it will it will become toxic and you will start you know you you it will you can become comatose you know actually so then what happens is your kidney is trying to work and trying to remove all this excess of sugar. This is when you start spilling sugar in your urine. I had one of my patients here this morning. When you see those plus one plus two, a two plus sugar, when you check a UA, then it shows that you're spilling glucose you, you're spilling sugar in your human it's not a good thing not a good thing at all it means your sugar is not controlled it means you gotta do something better so the problem the thing is what we need to do is to get that sugar down because what happens as we peeing that sugar out then we become very dehydrated this is why if you ever had an issue with dka where you have so much of high sugar when you get to the hospital what do they give you we're gonna give you iv fluid we're gonna give you iv fluid and my friend with an a1c down to 6.7 bravo good job good job keep it up so what happens is when you get to the hospital they're going to give you iv fluid because you became dehydrated when that sugar is high your kidney is started working by removing excess glucose but in the process it also removes water from your body so that's why you become dehydrated 
every once in a while have somebody coming here they would have a high sugar and i try to save them the emergency room because again with the experience that i have working in the hospital so i know exactly what happens in the hospital so if that person is very compliant if they will follow my strategies depending on how bad they are i may be able to save them from going to the emergency room and really you just have them you know just have them keep themselves very very hydrated give them some very high dose of insulin and uh, see how they do now if your blood pressure is elevated uh, somebody say your blood pressure is elevated what do you do without taking the medication well the thing that you can do is something that you should do on a usual basis it's not something you do in an emergency thank you for everybody who is newly following me like my friend you um uh, and thank you for my friend Yvette who just uh, shared that uh, live. I appreciate you. So the thing is, if your blood pressure is elevated and you are trying to get it down, the best thing to do is really to take the medication, <laughs> unfortunately. I know it's not everybody that necessarily. Uh, I have so many people liking this live. Um, I don't know what to say. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, those people who are giving me those little hearts. <laughs> but yeah, the best thing to do is to take your blood pressure uh, medication. But the other thing that you can do is right now, if you are listening to me and your blood pressure is not elevated right now. So if your blood pressure is not elevated right now, what can you do? <laughs> well, what you can do is to follow those strategies, those steps that I give you that would help you. So this blood pressure stays down. When it gets up there, we need medications to bring it down. However, what we can do is to do things that could help us from uh, keeping it from keeping it going all the way up there. So if there's one thing that you could do for me is uh, follow those instructions. Diet exercise like low salt very very low salt stay active all the time but yeah unfortunately when your blood pressure is elevated medication is what's bringing it down no problem my dear friend go back to work thank you for all the love that you provided to go jb appreciate you my queen is giving me love my queen is showing me love my queen you know i love you too thank you for giving me all those beautiful roses my dear from my dear queen queen lady <laughs> I do want to appreciate every single person, everybody, every day, everybody, every day. <laughs> yeah, you know that, my queen lady. Everybody, every day who comes here and spend that time and spend this precious time with me. I appreciate you, every single one of you. T lady, T lady under score 76, sharing the life. Sharing the education, sharing with the people. We're doing this. We're gonna do it fun. We're gonna make it fun, and we're gonna learn while we're having fun. Yes, that's what we're doing. And when I have those two other beats that are in studio, when those things, when those come here, you'll see where we have fun together while we're learning. We're learning while we're having fun. That's what we do. You are very welcome, my dear Queen Lady, who says thank you for all you do. But thank you to you for all you do. <laughs> my friend Bessus uh, in the house. How have you been, my friend? You are very welcome, my dear friend Yvette Davis. That's my pleasure. That's why they call me JB. Your brother. A brother that you have. A brother from another mother. 
however they used to say it. But that's your brother here. Every day, go. Yeah, my friend says go, go JV Health. Wow, yeah, amazing. But every day, 1 p.m. Eastern time, right here. And if you miss anything, it's got loaded on YouTube for you. For just you. If you have not followed me on YouTube, by the way, please follow me on YouTube. I need more followers on YouTube. I need some more people to follow me on YouTube, yeah? I need to build that platform as well. I need to build a YouTube platform. So if you have not followed me on YouTube, again, cool information, great vibe, you know? So yeah, my friends say yes, bro, cool. <laughs> what by the way i have to put my glasses today oh wow i gotta put my glasses there we go got to put my glasses on today thank you my dear friend my dear friend cran shark i do have somebody Sleevy or two, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting the Go Go JB Health. So that was uh, my friend. Uh, it's my friend Kronisha. My friend Kronisha. I'm sorry that I didn't mean to mess up your name or anything, but yeah. So my friend Kronisha, my queen Kronisha. What about that? And thank you very, very much. <laughs> tap tap. Somebody says tap tap. Tap tap. Well. Yes, yeah, so my dear friend has a question for me. That's why I'm here to answer question. Even though we are at the end, we'll answer it anyway. Go ahead. Everybody who is tapping, who is tap tapping, like my friend Krenisha said on the screen. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, people. The people who give us gift. People who became subscriber to this platform, people who subscribe on YouTube, on Instagram, thank you to you. We're just going to continue to do that. And somebody like my smile. <laughs> I'm using this smile to preach healthcare. <laughs> Quenisha, thank you for being a new follower on our platform. Thank you. Appreciate you. Again, anybody, if you haven't followed on YouTube yet, Go ahead. Go. Follow me. JB, help. If you're new here, you haven't followed on this platform. If you follow me, you're gonna know whenever I'm live the next time. But guess what? Two healthcare, one to two healthcare videos posted on this page. Go through my videos. You'll see why everybody's talking about Go JB. You'll see why everybody's following Go JB. Because everything on there is something to teach you something. Inviting somebody to like GoJB, inviting somebody to go on YouTube, follow GoJB, it's actually a great thing because there is no way somebody could go on my page. I could say that. 
that you don't learn something. Are you learning great information? Yes, we're having fun. Yes, we're making it cool. But you know what? We're learning great information. Those are the information that I discuss with my patients here in this office. And I said, hey, I'm going to extend it to you all. I'm going to extend it to all these queens that I have out there, like Kunisha. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we do. But guys, we're getting to the end of this. Uh, well, so if somebody's having fever, it's been going on for two days. Yes, it's kind of at night time. Hmm. I don't know if you're going to like my answer, <laughs> but I think um, really I don't want to take that knowing that it's just a, you know, a general education. Uh, I think you need to be checked out. You need to get checked out two days with fevers every night. Go to your primary care. Have them check you out to see what's going on. <laughs> yes. Like, uh, yeah, like my friend, lady. Um, uh that is my friend here. It's my friend, my friend T Lady, my friend T Lady seventy six. Like like she said, I think maybe the best thing to do is maybe go to your primary care doctor, have them check it out. It could be an infection. But again, if you don't have any, um, the problem is when you have an infection, we need to find out where the infection is. If you don't have any coughing or any sneezing, any sore throat, so it could just be, it could be anything like a urinary tract infection sometimes, a kidney infection can cause you to have fever. So again, not to scare you, sometimes viral issue could cause that too, but hey, with my different treaty, uh, well, no, it's my friend, treat yourself fashion, treat yourself fashion, who say, I love your voice it's so soothing well thank you very very much my dear friend i love your support <laughs> but yeah so so yeah so okay so they say uh he's saying infection and give me okay so yeah if you take antibiotics that's great because exactly that's the reason i wanted you to go so obviously that also shows what the gojb is all about so i wanted you to go because i think it could be an infection and sure enough, you had already gone and they told you it's an infection. They're already putting you on antibiotics. So uh, my friend uh, Leah, Leah Scott, who said your voice is very unique. Well, thank you. Thank you, my dear. Thank you, my dear queen. Hearing this from you. Amazing. <laughs> but yeah, so the thing is, um, when you have fever, it's just telling you something is going on in the body. So again, like our friend tea lady uh so like she said uh you gotta get check out for the uninfection going on she was right yeah somebody say i appreciate you dr jb Thank you, my friend. I appreciate you. You, you, you are, you know, you are one of the big supporters to this platform. I know you. <laughs> it's not my first time, but you are one of the friends that make me feel so happy every time. Okay, so my friend is on LPN. Great. And by the way, thank you for the great job that you're doing, taking care of people. Some people may not understand what you're doing, but thank you for your service. I want to thank you for what you do. People don't understand what we do. Sometimes, not everybody, because today everybody is understanding what I'm doing. So not all the time, not everybody, but sometimes it's hard for people to understand what we really do in the medical field. So thank you for everything you do, my D Queen L, I mean T Lady. <laughs> My friend V uh, uh, Vivi William, who said, "This is very good thing that you are doing. Thank you. Those are the things that keeps me going. Those are the things that says Go JB will go. Go JB will go higher and higher and higher, <laughs> and we keep going <laughs> every day." Go, go, go JB, help. Go, JB. If you were here, go, JB. if you stopped by. Go, JB. 
you spend a little time you give gifts you tap on that screen you shed the video right now it's my time to say thank you to you to say thank you for the love thank you for the appreciation from so many hundred thousands of people throughout the country and all over the world who are supporting go jb so your brother jb will be here every day 1 p.m eastern time some people they are at work they would at least stop by to give you the love to give you the appreciation that's amazing i don't know how to feel about that a lot of people saying great things uh my friend uh pieces uh underscore six six two from tennessee <laughs> you need healing my friend what type of healing do you need my dear friend my friend queen lady keep giving me the love keep giving me gifts i appreciate you thank you for the balloons and um i'm gonna read a few of those things here go jb go 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 jb <laughs> and somebody says may god bless you thank you very much uh vv william uh thank you for those uh words of appreciation uh so and Leah Scott says, yes, JB, keep going. Thank you, my dear. I will keep going. I will keep going. That's why I take this time away from the schedule. I told them, hey, I'm not going to see patient. I want to spend this time with my queen, with my king, with my prince, with my princess. Right here, live. <laughs> sure, 19G. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Uh -huh. Somebody say love and healing. Yes. May it, may it go your way. May God bless you richly. Pray. God give you strength. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for these people that you give me. For these people, for this queen that you put on my path. I'm so blessed. I'm so, so blessed. Thank you for tea lady. <laughs> For Yvette Davis. Thank you for Vivi. Thank you for Nicole. Thank you for Stephanie. Thank you for Clark, Renee Clark. Thank you for Modu. Thank you for so many of these people, Lord, who are very, very supportive of what I'm doing. Of what we are doing together. The people who join me. Gift M photo. Thank you for sharing the love. I appreciate you. But anyway, guys, believe it or not, it's about time for me to go. But what I'm saying right now is for you guys to go and create health. <laughs> Remember, we're still working on the uh, accountability, accountability group that we have that we're doing on YouTube. Um, that group we still waiting for some more people uh to start that accountability group but obviously we will be doing this group so uh, i know that i have uh, several people who already signed up if you have not signed up yet you need to subscribe me on youtube and there's a video there that will say yes uh that i talk about that um a weight loss accountability group that you just have to send me a message under this video and say yes you want to be part of it and we're going to be doing this so this is uh what I, I have a weight loss program here in this office the only difference this one the only thing that it's not going to have is the medicine so i'm not going to give medication because i don't really know everybody like that uh because they are not my patients uh so they don't come to the office i don't know the medical history everything but it will be uh everybody will be able to benefit from the strategies because uh, the weight loss program that I have here, it's more strategies. It's more things that you should, you can do uh, to help you so you lose weight. So it's more about this than anything, you know. So uh, obviously, we'll be able to uh, to do that and uh, together, you know. Together, we'll be able to do that. So, 
But yes, guys. So thank you guys. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for the support, everybody. If I miss your question, forgive me. I'm sorry. It's a lot of questions. I think I had a great time with all my great friends here, of all the king,、uh, of all the queen that I have here. Again, if I didn't say your name specifically, like I say, T Lady or Queen Lady, or so. If I didn't really name you, I see you, and I want to say thank you. It's a it's a group effort. It's a lot of people who've been supporting us to make this happen. It's a lot of people who've been supporting us to get where we are, and we want to be very grateful to every single one of them. We want to continue to do what we do, which yes, we are having fun. Yes, we are. Happy in what we're doing. Yes, we may be dancing in what we're doing, but we are educating people. This is what we believe in. This is what we committed to do. So again, if you see, you could see on our page, you could see hundreds of thousands of people that we have reached. Again, if you are new today here, I want, I would like for you to follow me, just like a lot of people do. And also, if you have not followed me on、uh, YouTube or Instagram or Facebook, please do so.、Uh, you could always become a subscriber to this platform by clicking on the subscribing button. So it's a lot of ways that you could help us. I'm very thankful to everybody. Whether you tap on the screen to give me a like, whether you shared this video, whether you became a subscriber,、uh, a follower, just like my friend uh, C uh, C R.、Uh, it's like C R Layla White. So, whether you do anything to help me, I want to say that I love you from the very bottom of my heart. You mean a lot to me, and、uh, really, I will always remember this group of people who said, "Yes, JB, you have to go. Yes, JB, not to go, go, but to go up and higher." I will always remember you guys. I'll always be grateful to you guys, those people who motivated me. To be doing what I'm doing. So again, we'll continue to do this together. I want to say thank you to you, and stay in peace, stay in love. Just know, a love from my heart to you. And thank you guys.、Uh, y'all have、uh, y'all have a great day.、Uh, you all have a great day. You all have a blessed day. And thank you very much. I'll see you all tomorrow again. 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you. This concludes our great health education show for today. Thank you very much. Thank you to every every single one of you who spent this precious time with us. Again, if you are new to this platform, we encourage that you follow us so you know whenever we are live the next time. The show comes on. Every day, Monday through Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. My name is JB. I'm a family nurse practitioner who believes in educating his people, who believes on supporting his brothers and sisters by sharing his knowledge with them. If you missed the show again, it will be available on our YouTube channel. And if you have not followed us on YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter, we encourage that you do that now. Again, once again, the people who tap on the screen to give us the likes, the people who shared the video, the people who became new followers, those who gave us gifts on the show, the roses. We want to say thank you to every one of you. Thank you to the people who subscribe to this platform. We want to say thank you to every one of you. Thank you for believing that together we can promote health. That together. We could educate hundreds, hundreds of millions of people. I want to say thank you to every one of you. I really appreciate the support that I have all throughout this country, but also even all over the world. We have a lot of people supporting this great project of education. Again, thank you for being here. Until I see you the next time, you stay with great health.